I was kind of nervous, but they helped to lay some of my fears. You know, alone, you have somebody help you. So the Ralph Lauren Center was created to help people navigate their way through the healthcare system, to help them prevent cancer, and to treat them. So the Ralph Lauren Center really was created 10 years ago specifically for underserved and minority populations. Um, healthcare is very difficult for all of us, and when you um, belong to a population that's really been disenfranchised by the healthcare system, or you don't understand how to navigate the healthcare system, it can be very challenging to, to get good healthcare, and especially cancer care, which is extremely complicated. I'm really grateful. When I found out about the breast cancer diagnosis I had, prayed to God and asked him to show me, you know, help me through the process and show me where I needed to be and make sure that the, the people that I encountered were the people who were gonna, you know, really just help me along this journey and help me to get through it. The chemotherapy process itself was kind of grueling, but they really helped me a lot here. You know, you're coming to deal with people who have your best interests at heart. It's just like everyone that you deal with has just this warm personality that is very inviting and very comforting considering the, the situation that you're in. We understand that getting a diagnosis of cancer is all-encompassing, so we have these patient navigators to help patients through the process. We have nurse navigators to really educate people about what's going on with them, what their treatment plan is. So I think uh, interacting with the patient is very important to me. So Ralph Lauren Center provides to their patient is mostly compassionate and safe care, which uh, um, give us the chance for the patient also to trust us in what, uh, in what we are doing. If people feel very comfortable with the people that are treating them, they, they, they feel that they are treated as a person and not just as a disease. If, like me, I know I speak well English, the navigators, was with me anytime. They want to make sure that in every aspect of your life they're giving help. So whether it's inside the center during treatment or outside the center when it comes to work, insurance issues, or even needing extra food or extra supplies at home. We also want to make this a place that's not frightening. You know, people hear the word cancer and they're scared. When you walk in the door of the center, just the way that it looks and the way that it's set up, it says, you know what, we really care about you. It's just, it's just a wonderful time. I come here and I kick up my feet. I take off my shoes, I put up my feet, and I just wait for my infusion to be done. And you know, I can take a nap, watch TV, or what have you, just to be comfortable and get through it, get through the session and move on to the next step. And it's not fair for someone not to have access to care. It's not fair for people to have unequal care. Unfortunately, we still do have that two-tiered healthcare system, but uh, you know, that's what I'm passionate about, that I think healthcare is a right and everybody should have access to, to quality healthcare. I think that, that the majority of people that work here feel exactly the same way. We are doing something to help people who otherwise would have gone in the trenches and forget about their health. We don't turn people away from the center. They help me to feel I was a human being. The center and the staff here just really helped me a lot in terms of just getting through the process. Here, the people help me to continue in life, and I'm here.